Hello and good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. It is a little after seven. Actually, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's 740. It's quite a, quite a bit after seven now. But when I came out here to the living room, it was like, seven o'clock i was like i'm gonna sit on the couch for a couple minutes and then i'm gonna tidy up the kitchen get things off to a good start before grace wakes up and then before you know it i did nothing i spent all of that time scrolling on my phone but that's that's just that's the way it is sometimes <laughs> and now uh grace is awake i just got the baby monitor notification so i'm gonna go get her up we'll have some breakfast get the day started May maybe i'll end up tidying up out here um and then today is a uh, half work day half with grace day for me so i'll be with her just for like an hour and a half this morning and then i'm working from nine to one and then i'm with grace for the rest of the day and i i like I like these days a lot. The way my work schedule is usually is I'll have two full days of childcare a week and then one half day. It's like 20 hours and lately I've been loving the half day like the full days are good because then i i you know get to just fully dive into work but i miss grace a lot and the half days i get i'm i'm hannah montana best of both worlds <laughs> i get the work time and the gracie time and um i'm gonna stop rambling now so i can go get her and see her i'm excited grace and i are out on the couch now it's like an hour later and we're watching a video of the captain america musical at disneyland that she loves yeah. Yeah, you do love it, huh? She calls it Sad Baby Him 70 Years because Captain America crashed, went asleep for 70 years, and then woke up and was a sad baby. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we're watching Sad Baby Him the musical. She loves to use my iPhone tripod that I use for like filming short form as a microphone. Like it looks like it's a microphone stand. So she's currently <laughs> singing along into it. And it's just my favorite thing. Oh, now Grace's favorite part, the bows. You want me to rewind the bows for one more time? Yeah. Okay, so you know what that's called? You say encore. Encore, encore. In theater speak, it means one more time. Encore, that's right. Yay! Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, last time for the bows, okay? <laughs> Bye-bye. Grace and I are playing this game. I don't know how we got into it, but I am I wait outside the nursery. She yells potato, and then I run in yelling potato. So I'm waiting for my cue. Potato! One more time. Okay. Potato! Okay, I'm about to go get ready now and get started on work. But before I do, I want to show you guys an exciting development with the caterpillars. And that is that they are actually no longer caterpillars. They are in their chrysalis. And isn't it beautiful? Oh my gosh. Literally, it looks like glass. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six chrysalises. Our seventh caterpillar currently in the J hang. So we'll probably be forming its chrysalis today. And then what? What's, what, what's, how, eight? There's another one? So we raised seven caterpillars from the egg that we collected from out in our garden on the milkweed. And Kenzie was interested in doing it too with her kids. So she came and got some eggs. She had her little group of caterpillars and I'm watching, I'm babysitting. I'm cat, cat sitting, but cat, her pillar sitting because she's on a trip this week and her caterpillars are like a week behind mine. So we didn't think that they'd be going into the chrysalis while she's gone. But yesterday, I one of them especially was looking like so big, like so much bigger than the other ones. And I was like, that one almost looks like it's ready to form a chrysalis. So I moved it to the mesh enclosure that, you know, we want them in when they form the chrysalis so that when they come out as a butterfly, they have a little more room until their wings dry and we can release them. So I put that big caterpillar in there yesterday and it like went right into a J hang. So now one of Kenzie's caterpillars is, uh, is rooming with ours, but her other ones still look like days and days away from being ready for that stage. That one just big and beefy, ready to go. But yeah, it's so cool. The I got to see it like in real time with my eyes, one of the caterpillars going into the chrysalis. I got that on camera, which I'll overlay here. And then, well, and I also got a time lapse of one of them going that I didn't see, but I had my phone rolling. And the time lapse is like 
super cool. Like amazing to see it like all happen in quick succession. But I, I think honestly, like the real time clip is even cooler, but it's only like five minutes from it starting to <laughs> secrete the, the juices for the, the chrysalis and it like being fully encapsulated. Except the wild thing about monarchs and about like because they make a chrysalis and not a cocoon. A chrysalis is the caterpillar's body, whereas a cocoon goes around the body. The chrysalis, they like, it, it's, it's, a, it's not a fun word to say, but it's the most accurate. It secretes from their body. It starts at their head and then just, you know, slowly goes, but not even that slowly. Like watching it happen, it, it really happens so fast. It goes from end to end and then they kind of like wiggle for a while, like they wiggle a lot and then they settle down and then now they'll, they're very still in there and they'll be in that chrysalis for about two weeks and then emerge as a beautiful monarch butterfly. I am so excited that all seven of ours, first of all, hatched, second of all, survived, and third of all, actually went into a chrysalis, although we still are waiting on that seventh one to form. But it's just, it's so cool and, and so amazing and like has been such a wonderful experience for, for Grace and I to do together. And I'm just, I'm so glad that we did this. This is something I wanna do every year. And I just wanna, I wanna plant more milkweed, raise more caterpillars. Actually, there's still eggs being laid outside. Like monarchs are still coming like almost every day and laying new eggs on the milkweed. So I'm thinking now that these ones are in the chrysalis, like. Do I, should I start another batch? Collect another like five to 10 eggs and do it again? Like if the season's continuing, I don't know. It's just so cool. It's, it's so freaking cool. And I'm gonna keep coming down and checking on uh, the two caterpillars that are in their J hang today so that hopefully we can see it. Cause it's just amazing. So yeah, there's the, there's the check-in on my, my little caterpillar babies. And now I am off to get ready for work. And All right. It is 10:53. I am just wrapping up the last task on my admin work to-do list that I wanted to get done today. I just had a bunch of like little tasks that aren't time consuming, but like it, it was making my to-do list seem so much more overwhelming because there was just so much on it. So I was like, I'm just going to spend the first two hours of today with just an admin block, knock out all of these things. And I did, and it feels so good. I got some sponsorship stuff figured out. I worked out my short form schedule for the Disney bound video, picked my products for my Fabletics ambassadorship next month, got a bunch of emails sent. So we're doing good. Um, other than the fact that I am not wearing my glasses and it's bad for me to work at my computer without my glasses, cause then I strain. Or so I have been told by my uh, obstetrician, Obstetrician. Why did, no, <laughs> that's an OBGYN. That's obstetrics. Brain, hello, come on. Optometrist, my optometrist. My obstetrician would be if I was pregnant, which I am not, but apparently my brain can't uh, distinguish the difference between the eye doctor and the pregnancy doctor, so. Oh man, all right. <laughs> Anyways, um, I just started downloading three videos that I need to watch back and review. The second draft of the Disney Bound video for the Schultze channel, which now has my narration in it that we filmed in, was that the last vlog or the vlog before? One of those. It's when we used the teleprompter. So I'm, I'm excited to look back at that and see how it looks. And then the Disney Bound vlog for this channel and another vlog for this channel that Rachel cut. So I'm gonna go downstairs, get my glasses, refill my water, check and see if the caterpillar went into a chrysalis yet. And I'm gonna move the desk to standing, which by the way, my desk is fixed. Steven fixed it, thank you, Steven. So then I can move my walking pad over and uh, have a nice little stroll while I watch back these videos. Oh my gosh, it's happening. I walked in right as it's happening. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm so, we're so lucky. Oh my gosh. He's almost there, that last little piece of his skin on the outside is gonna fall off in a second. Almost there. Wow. Yep, there it goes, bloop. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe how lucky I am that I just walked in right when that was happening. I just wish Grace was here. She's out on a walk, but she did get to see one of the other ones and wow. Guess what? Another caterpillar went in the cocoon. Do you wanna come see? Yes. Okay. Come see, come see. You see him in the, oh, he's wiggling. <laughs> Silly fly. Silly fly. That's right, he was a caterpillar and now he's in his chrysalis. No days. 
not two days, two weeks. And then it'll fly up. That's right. So it'll have that kind of like bumpy texture and this brighter green for probably a couple more hours. And then it'll go that kind of smooth jade green color like the rest of the chrysalises. That was so exciting. Oh my gosh. Oh, I, I filled up my water. I checked on the caterpillars, obviously, but I forgot that the main reason I was coming downstairs was to get my glasses. So let me find those. Ha ha. Got the glasses, got the water, got a new chrysalis. What an amazing thing to witness. I'm speechless. That's just, it's just the coolest thing. I'm so glad that I went right downstairs when I did. That was so freaking lucky. Steven was saying that we should have put one of our like ring doorbell cameras in there for like just a constant feed of being able to like check in on them and also like make sure we don't miss them. Well, going into the chrysalis, but also we could do it now for when they emerge. Cause man, as cool as it is seeing them go into the chrysalis, I would love to see one of them come out. Just at least one. Oh, it's just so cool. I love bugs. I love nature. All right, treadmill desk time. And that one that went into the chrysalis just now, that was Kenzie's. So I, I need to send her an update. I know she doesn't really have service. She's like in the middle of the forest, but gotta send the update. That's just wild. Okay, sent. All right, I am ready to walk and watch back some videos. Let's start with Disney Bound. All right, it is 12.30. I just came downstairs to make myself a quick lunch. I'm hoping to get a little bit more work done upstairs. And also I have some packages that I think would be fun to do a little unboxing with you guys, but we'll see how long Grace's nap is because she just went down and whenever she wakes up, that's when I will be switching to mom mode. So gonna make a quick lunch, which luckily will be very easy today thanks to this vlog sponsor which is Factor. Did you like that clean segue? That was pretty good, right? So Factor delivers fresh, ready to eat meals right to your doorstep. They are premium quality and created by a team of gourmet chefs with only ingredients with integrity to help you feel your best all day long. And my Factor box for the week just got delivered yesterday and thank goodness, because now my fridge is fully stocked with delicious meals that I can make in literally two minutes. Should we move this back here for ambiance? It's empty, I, un I unboxed it yesterday. But I felt like I should keep it for the sponsor, you know? We have had a super fun, but pretty busy summer this year and Factor is perfect for busy lifestyles. I love having my Factor meals on hand to make sure that I still eat lunch even when I don't have time to cook and I get it cheaper and way, way faster than ordering like takeout or delivery from a restaurant. Literally two minutes and it tastes so good and fresh. They come pre-prepared and never frozen. So you just heat, eat and enjoy. And they taste amazing. They're super flavorful and they have a lot of variety to choose from. There's like over 34 options for every week. I get the plant-based ones, but if you eat meat or fish, they have options with that too. So this is what I'm making today. It is the Caribbean spiced tofu with black beans, rice, mango salsa, and coconut jerk sauce. Sounds amazing. I'm so excited about this one. But can I just say yesterday's? Oh my gosh. Hold on, two minutes. But yesterday's, yesterday's was un- freaking real. It was a barani rice with tandoori cauliflower and curry yogurt. When it was cooking, it smelled so freaking good, but somehow it actually tasted even better. I was savoring every bite and I got another one of these in my box this week, which I am absolutely having tomorrow because honestly, I wanted to have it today, but I was like, you know, for the sponsor, I feel like I should show some variety. And the spiced tofu was also like majorly calling my name. It sounds so good. But yeah, Factor is just great. Like I love the flavors, the convenience, the variety and the nutrition quality that I need to keep me feeling good and going throughout the rest of the day without having to actually do any of the planning, the grocery shopping and the prepping and the cooking. Factor does it all. The convenience, top notch, quality and freshness, amazing. So if you want to check out Factor, I have a discount code that you can use. Go to factor75.com or click the link below and use code Sierra50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. There it is. Oh my gosh, that smells amazing. Look at it. I'm just waiting for the moment where Steven comes downstairs and it's like, what, what are you making? Because literally every time I'm making a factor meal and they always smell so good, Steven, Steven comes snooping around. <laughs> Looks so good. Oh my gosh, thank you, factor. Oh my gosh. Again, the flavors, just so freaking good. I'm done with the sponsorship. I said all my stuff, I gave you the coupon code and here I am still talking about it because it's just that good. <laughs> and look who came to snag a bite. Mm. 
Mmm, this horse smells so good. Mm, that's yummy. Oh, my mom's calling me. Hold on. Don't <laughs> give that before I answer. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Yeah, 3.30. Yay, okay. I'm excited. Okay, love okay. you, bye. Well, that's fun. Uh, my mom just called me because she was asking about Grace's swim lessons and she's interested in coming and watching sometime. And I think it might work out today. She might come with us just for funsies, see Grace's swim lesson. And then we always go out to like a, get a smoothie after. And sometimes we'll walk by the beach. We make like a whole afternoon of it. So that'd be super fun if my mom came. Okay. We we have some packages to unbox together. It's mostly PR and some very exciting stuff. Let's start with what I'm most excited about. This is from a new stationery brand. They're called VMware and it was started by my lovely friend Fiona and I am just so excited for her. Like she has just put so much love and intention into these products. She's been working on it for like two years and they just look stunning like so gorgeous so well designed it's also all printed in australia and all of the materials are sustainably sourced she just put like so much into this i'm so proud of her i'm so excited for her i'm gonna link them in the description if you're looking for some cute stationery a planner a journal check her out and she messaged me last week saying that she wanted to send me some because they're launching and i'm so excited oh my god how freaking cute i love her she <laughs> She filled out the first page of the Daily Planner. It says 8.30, cuddles with Grace, 10.30, fit check pics, lunch with the girls, record 20 whatever, dip in the pool, Disney date night, priorities, be iconic, look hot, inspire others. I freaking love her. Dude, watching your friends do cool shit is so like inspiring and invigorating. Like look at how beautiful and well thought out this is. She also sent me the mini reflection journal and it has these different prompts like Describe a day in your life one year from now. How could you improve your communication skills? What makes you happy and how can you do more of those things? Oh, and they're little stickers. So you can stick it on the page and then write to the prompt. That's so cool. Got the little to-do list, the cutest insert card. Everything is just so beautiful, even the freaking card. Got another set of the daily planner in the darker color. And then, oh my gosh, the travel journal and the weekly planner. Oh. Oh my gosh, there's so much in here. I'm like, I'm just like blown away and so excited to get going with this. Hold on, hold on, let's get a close up. It's so beautiful and the planner, like I said, is just like really chocked full. Just makes my little type A brain so happy <laughs> with goals and check-ins and resets. And then of course, to-do lists and calendars, a habit tracker. Fiona, you are a mastermind. And the travel journal, we have quite a bit of travel at the end of the summer and I cannot wait to fill this. So freaking awesome. Very, very cool. I'm really excited about these products and just really excited for Fiona and all of the amazing things I'm sure she's gonna do with VMware because this stuff just looks amazing. Next package is some gifted stuff from Harper Wild. My favorite, favorite bra brand. And I've worked with them a couple times before, so Sometimes they'll like send me previews of new products and stuff that they're launching. So let's see what we've got. Ooh, cute little lounge shorts. Very, very nice. These feel like really soft. I bet these are gonna be super comfy. And then I'm assuming this is a matching top. Yes, it is is this is gonna be so cute together. And then they also sent me a bra. Uh, this is one of my favorite, like most comfy go-to bralettes. I have this one and I wear it all the time. It's their ribbed lounge bralette. And I like that the cut is more like a sports bra, but the material is just like so soft and plush, very bralette, very loungy. So it's like the comfort of a bralette, but more support. Is that the one? No, it's not the one I'm wearing right now. I am wearing a Harper Wild bra, but this is their triangle bralette. So thank you, Harper Wild. I'm excited. I have another one of my favorite bras. Got this cute new PJ set. And honestly, it's, it's marked as a PJ set, but I feel like I could just wear this. I'm like, do I put it on right now? Because my first thought was like, oh, this will be perfect to change into when we get home from swim lessons this evening, but maybe I wear it to swim lessons. Next package. This is from Jessica. They make the most beautiful dresses. They are size inclusive. They also have mommy and me dresses. It's like my dream come true. And they're just so beautiful and whimsical. If you saw the dresses that Grace and I wore on the Disney cruise, that that was, those were from Jessica. And that was one of the first times I had ordered from them. And I was just absolutely blown away. Like they're pretty expensive, but just 
gorgeous and recently i got connected with their team and we were working on like a giveaway together on instagram and they offered to send me a dress from their website which i had been majorly eyeing this rapunzel inspired one and they sent one for me and for grace i'm so excited okay this is grace's are you like actually joking right now because this is unreal this is like the most beautiful little dress i've ever seen like this would already be amazing just for grace but the fact that there's one for me and we get to match and she's so cute lately about wanting to match like even if we're just wearing like vaguely the same color she'll be like me mama match mama match like she gets so excited or like she'll pick her outfit and then she'll ask to go pick my outfit and she'll like pick something that looks similar it's so sweet and we are going to match in these look at this dress i'm so excited but i don't want to wake grace up from her nap wow i'm so excited to try this on it's so pretty also the the reason that i had already been eyeing this dress is because i don't think we've talked about this on the vlog but we're going on another disney cruise in september we went on our first disney cruise in april that was a, a gifted trip from the disney team and it was like absolutely unreal like it was the coolest trip ever we just had the best time and steven actually um put down a deposit for another Disney cruise while we were on that cruise. Cause if you do that, you get 10% off and it's like refundable and stuff. So, so he did that and then he told me after and he's like, but don't worry, you know, we can cancel it if we decide not to use it. Like you don't have to decide on a specific date. You just have to use it, I think in the next year or two. And of course I was fully on board, like so excited. And then um, we started talking to my parents about it and my parents were interested in going. So they're actually coming too. So we're doing a Disney cruise, me, Stephen, Grace, my mom and my dad. And I've already decided I'm not gonna vlog on that trip. That's just gonna to be a family trip because as much fun as the Disney cruise was I did spend a lot of the time working and I just want to like fully be in mom mode on this trip so I'm sure I'll like share some pictures and clips and stuff after the fact but yeah I hadn't really brought it up yet on the vlog because I'm like I don't want to share too much about the planning and that you get, get you guys all hyped and then I like am not posting anything about it but I had been thinking about getting these dresses for Grace and I on the cruise because we had so much fun with the Jessica dresses on the last one but Grace is outgrowing that one she just wore it for what's probably going to be the last time to my sister-in-law's bridal shower and I was like oh those dresses were like so cute and fun to match and maybe we get another matching dress for the next Disney cruise and then Jessica sent us these so thank you excitement is just absolutely overflowing looking at these dresses i'm so excited <laughs> all right next um patchology sent me some stuff i love patchology they make some great skincare stuff and like my favorite under eye patches so let's see what we got here Ooh, this is their nourishing lip service treatment balm i literally never can just like unbox a product and be like isn't isn't that nice can't wait to try it no i am going to put this on my lips immediately oh that feels nice. What's in this? Aloe honey and goji berry extract with vitamin B3. Well, it feels freaking good. It's like really smooth and glossy, but hydrating. And it has that kind of like minty, like almost eucalyptus tingle. Love this. It also smells great. Ooh, and then we've got some different under eye patches. Like I said, their eye gels are my favorite. I keep these in my skincare fridge and they feel amazing and really help with the puffiness. We've got the chill mode hydro gel calm face mask Ooh, and then a sheet mask pack with a bunch of different ones to try and their rose toes and rose fingers sets me ryan and paloma tried these uh when we did a sponsorship with them for the podcast and they were so fun and they sent us a bunch but i've now used all of them so i'm so glad they sent more this is absolutely gonna be part of my next self-care night all right next up this is something i purchased on amazon it's a new backpack for my disney pins see how it has like the display areas with like the clear zip on the outside so I can put our pins on the backpack and you can see them but they also won't fall out if the back comes off and it's just like a pretty purple nice sized backpack for Disneyland but I wanted to get this because I well I've been collecting Disney pins for like a long time but I kind of stopped doing it when Grace was born just because it's like an extra hassle and like they're pokey I wouldn't want her to get hurt but now that she's getting older she has gotten like really into like my Disney pin collection and so the last couple times that we've gone we've brought them to the park with us to do pin trading 
And that's like such a fun thing for us because it's kind of like getting a souvenir, but we're not actually buying anything. And you know, it's fun. She'll like decide which one she wants to trade. And every time we see a pin board, we stop and we look at it. We're like, what about this one or this one? Or like, you know, sometimes she'll tell me like a specific character she wants to look out for. And so like last time we went, she really wanted to find a Jack Skellington pin. So like the whole day we're looking around and we're like, Jack Skellington, Jack Skellington. Anyways, we've been having fun doing the Disney pins together now. And the backpack that I had for my Disney pins, I'll put a picture he right here because it is really cute, but it's just the, the actual display part is small. It didn't fit all my pins, which was fine. I didn't need to bring all my pins to Disneyland, but the backpack itself is small and a nice bag to bring if it's just me going, but most of the time that I'm going to Disneyland, it's with Grace and I need a lot more space. And I don't really want to bring like that backpack just for the pins and then a whole nother backpack with Grace's stuff. So I thought I would buy a nice big pin display backpack for Disneyland. And that's what this is. And this is going to display all of our pins and have some extra room. Very excited about this. Maybe, maybe after Grace goes to bed tonight, I'll move them all into the backpack. And then next time we go to Disneyland, we'll bring it with us. And then speaking of Disney, the last package is from Javiana's and Disney because they did a collab and we got to see some of it on the Disney creators trip. It was like really cute Mickey and Minnie shoes and accessories. And based on this box, I imagine, yes, some of that is gonna be inside. It says you walked all over Disneyland Resort, now put on your Javiana's and feel the magic on your feet. And they've got two pairs of flip flops in there and like a little satchel bag. Oh, and it's waterproof. It's like perfect for the beach. Really perfect for the cruise too. It looks like a little passport with the stamps. That's so cute. And then two pairs of flip flops. We've got these cute red and pink ones with Minnie and a bunch of the other Disney characters on the other foot. And then these ones with a bunch of the princess silhouettes. These are so cute. I hope these fit because I have wide feet, but they're so cute and they're Disney. So even if my foot's falling halfway out the side, we're going to make it work. Well, it's almost two o'clock here and Grace is still asleep. So I'm going to tidy up here. And then if I still have some time, I'm going to try on the Rapunzel dress and I want to try on the Harper Wilde set. Oh my gosh, the Rapunzel dress, the Rapunzel dress. Oh my gosh. Wow. This is absolutely gorgeous. I love the fit. The color is stunning. It's in my summer color palette too. The length is great on me. I'd need to wear a different bra, one of my like structured rumor bras, but even with just a bralette on, like I just, I just feel like a little princess. Wow. I can't, I can't wear this to swim lessons, but I really don't want to take it off. This dress makes me feel very, very, oh, how I love being a woman. So cute. Okay. And here is the Harper Wild PG set. Very nice. Very comfy. Feels really nice. Great quality. It is giving more pajama than I thought though, now that it's on. So I don't think I'm going to wear this out for swim lessons and stuff, but I will be very excited to change into this when I get home. All right. It is 2.30. Grace just woke up. I'm going to go get her. We'll have some playtime, have a snack, and then head out for swim in like an hour. Hello, sweet pea. You had a nice long nap, didn't you? Hello, hello. It is now 10 p.m. We are back home, obviously. Grace is asleep. I uh, just finished tidying up out here a little bit. I was like, okay, now I like have a second. Let's update the vlog. So hello. Um, it was a really fun afternoon. It was so great having my mom at the swim lessons. At first my mom was worried that like it would distract her, but honestly it just like motivated her. Like Grace had her best swim lesson yet. She was so into everything. And then after she would do something, she'd like look over to try to like catch my mom's eye. Like, did you see that? <laughs> she kept telling me, she's like, Grandy watch, Grandy watch me swim. I'm like, yeah, she sure is. And you are killing it. And she was, she was doing awesome. And I'm just so glad that we stuck with swim lessons because I talked about this a little bit a couple months ago when we started, but the first few lessons were rough. It was not fun for her and therefore very not fun for me either. And it's just hard to like have your kid in an activity that they like 
actively don't like, like if it was anything other than swim for safety, I'd be like, yeah, you know, this isn't for you, it's fine. We'll try something else. But with swimming, that's something that we really wanted to prioritize for her safety, especially living in San Diego and, you know, having a pool, which we do have gated, but still, you know, like just water safety and also water comfortability is really important where we live and with our lifestyle. And so I felt like we should stick it out through those first few hard lessons. And I'm so glad we did because now it's like one of her favorite things. Like she talks about swim all week. Like she talks about her swim coach all the time. She literally sees him like 30 minutes a week, but it's such a highlight for her. And she loves like practicing all of her swim moves in the pool and she just loves it. Like, and I never would have guessed that after the first few lessons, but you know, swimming and water is overwhelming for kids at first and it takes some time to adjust which I've now like I don't know when when it's me and I'm dealing with that with Grace I'm like oh my god this is you know such a hard unique experience and now like anytime there's a new kid in the class like they have the same thing like it's so normal and now she just like loves it loves it and because of that we also spend probably a lot more time than we would in the pool like even tonight like after dinner we went swimming i feel like we do that like at least every other night right now because it's just so nice and she loves it and then you know we hang out there for a little bit we take her straight up to bath after her i'm rambling now but yeah point point being swimming great. Um, and then after we got smoothies, smoothies were great. We went down to the beach, which was super fun and just so pretty out. And I just love like being with Grace with my mom. It's so fun experiencing that with her. And like, especially in this stage, like Grace's personality is just in full force. Like she is so talkative and just hearing all the, like the funny things she says and the way she reacts to things. It's so fun. Like turning to my mom and just, you know, watching, watching her together is so fun. Yeah. But, uh, all that to say, it's a fun afternoon. Back home now in my comfy Harper Wild set. And actually, another thing from the unboxing, I brought down the new backpack and grabbed our current Disney pin backpack, which now you get to see with all our pretty pins. I love my pin collection and it's so fun, like getting back into this with Grace. This Camp Rock pin I'm obsessed with, it's one of my favorites. And I like randomly found it like on one of the cast member pin trading boards in like 2015 at the parks. Like someone had probably gotten that in like 2008 and just randomly traded it there that day. And I felt like I hit the jackpot. I love it. I could I could do a whole pin tour if you want, if you want to see that. Maybe a short form video. Cause I, I, I feel like every everything has a story. But yeah, I'm gonna sit down on the couch, turn on some reality TV, and switch the pins over to the new pin backpack. Oh, I also got some replacement pin backs because some of the ones on here are like really loose, so the pins keep falling off. So while I'm changing them over, I'll test all of them and see which ones need a, a switcheroo. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this vlog, except uh, we'll, we'll end it with a nice little clip of the finished backpack, so. Here it is. I've got uh, all my favorite pins in this top space because these are ones I will never be trading. And then down here are all the other ones. And I, I have a box somewhere with more, so I'm probably gonna rearrange this whenever I get those on here. But yeah, very excited about it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>